Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a really, really lovely day. So today I'm going to be filming something a little bit different, which I'll get to in a second. But first, if you're new here, hi, I'm Mika, very nice to meet you. If you like me and if you like this video, you can check out more and maybe subscribe. Why not? I mean, if you don't like me, then don't, but you know. Um, yeah. Also check out my social media. I love Instagram. I'm obsessed with Instagram, as you guys know by now. And also, I got my Tumblr back recently, so it's Nikita Erchul, um, I'll link it down below. But yeah, I have my Tumblr back, and I'm so happy. I love Tumblr, so check that out if you want to. My face hurts from smiling, wow. <laughs> okay, so today's video is basically gonna be, like, the start of my minimalism journey, I guess. One of my New Year's resolutions was to become a minimalist, or at least, like, work towards that and so i wanted to share my journey because i'm a beginner at this definitely not good at it yet but one of the things that i suck at <laughs> is keeping my clothes to a minimum like i own so many clothes because i love fashion so i'm pretty sure this is gonna be really hard for me so i wanted to film it because i feel like a lot of these minimalism videos are very like you seem perfect and I'm never gonna like be able to own 20 things like that's insane um, So I wanted to share this video because I'm definitely a beginner So most of you can probably relate and you can do this with me if you want to So yeah, I'm about to tell you how I'm gonna go about this and then at the end I'm gonna film a little clip of me just after I cleared out everything uh, Just kind of how I'm feeling and what's different and if anything feels different because I'm not really sure <laughs> honestly Okay, so every single minimalism person has talked about this book and so I decided to read it because all of them were saying that it changed their lives. It's amazing. Blah, blah, blah. I hated this book. <laughs> okay, hate is a strong word. I didn't hate it. I disliked this book. I'm not judging this book or anyone who likes it. I just am not the person who would enjoy this type of book. I, I love reading like about psychology and philosophy and poetry and things like that. So a book about tidying up, I was just like, she was sharing about her like, tidying history and I was just like I give zero fucks about this like literally I do not care whatsoever so if you're one of those people who loves this book that's amazing I wish I could read this and love it and get like inspired and change my life um, but I just could not so basically what I did is I researched online of like methods from this book um, so I wrote them down, I'm about to share them with you and I'm about to try them out and then we'll see if they work, how I feel, all that. Okay, so the first tip is to not clean by space but by category. So basically don't like go into your room and clean out everything there first and then go to your like closet and kitchen and all that but like start with, I don't know, like fashion and just tackle all that and when you're dealing with fashion like first start with all of your shirts and display them all and then go through each item i think that's a good tip i've never tried that before i always just clean my room and then i'm like okay i can't wait for this to get messy in about 15 minutes um so yeah i think this is gonna be good okay and then the second tip i think is really good as well is to look at every single item and ask yourself if it brings you joy i just think that's a really cool way of doing this it's a more enjoyable way i think that's really cool so i'm happy try this out and then this next one i'm just like what <laughs> and it's to thank every single item that you're about to like throw away or donate or something i just think that's kind of weird but we'll try it out i'm not judging we'll see maybe this is amazing i don't know <laughs> okay the next one is to fold in like a weird way i don't know how to explain it i'll have like a clip I don't think I'm gonna like this because <laughs> I just like to fold things quickly. My closet, like the actual closet, it's really organized. It doesn't get messy. I just own way too much stuff. So I don't think I'm gonna fold stuff like her way of doing it. I don't, we'll see. Okay, then the next one I also think I'm not gonna try or like. We'll see. Um, it's to like hang clothes in a certain way. I'm gonna have a picture. But again, my closet is really organized. That's not the problem at all. It like never gets messy. And I like my clothes to be color coordinated when it comes to the stuff that I hang. I just think it looks less messy and it looks nicer. So yeah, again, if you want to try that out, it's just supposed to look less like fluttery if you like hang it in this way but i don't really have a problem with that i don't know okay then the last tip is just the one that i made up um i think i heard it in a few videos actually 
um, but it's basically not from her book I'm pretty sure and it's basically gonna be like a maybe pile and I want to keep it to a minimum like I don't want to just like put everything in a maybe pile and just like do nothing basically but there's a few clothes that I know that I'm just like not gonna be able to make up my mind um because it's either like summery stuff but, like I don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna wear in the summer so then I'm just gonna um, put it in a certain section of my closet and then see if I reach for all that stuff and if I don't I'm just gonna throw it out after a few months. So yeah, that is all the stuff that I'm gonna try to do slash force myself to do So I'll film a little bit and then again at the end share my thoughts and how I feel and what changed and all that So yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. Woo! Okay, but I just hate throwing clothes away. I love clothes Oh, this is gonna be hard. Okay, let's do it <laughs> before I change my mind Okay, so that is all of the clothes I own. Oh, and I have some more up there. I'm starting with shirts. So these are all of the long sleeve shirts I own. And now I'm gonna use the method of asking myself if it brings me joy. And thanking everything that I want to throw away. And um, putting some stuff in the maybe pile. I went through all my long sleeve shirts. These are the ones that I'm keeping because uh, I wear them all the time and I love them. These are the ones that I need to think about and like try on or put in a maybe pile. Um, so I'm gonna try them on right now. And then these are the ones that I'm definitely throwing out. Okay, so I'm now trying on the clothes. I put on a bra and a pair of jeans. I can like properly see how the items look. And this one, for example, I'm throwing out because I it's been in my closet for like a year and a half and I think I've worn it like twice, so I think I should get rid of this and I don't really like it that much. Anyway, I'm going to try on the rest of the stuff and then move on to short sleeve shirts. For every item that I didn't know, I put in like one place, which has now become a huge pile. So I'm going to like try on the pieces and go through every one, ask myself if it brings me joy and stuff. But that means I'm not doing it in like categories because now I'll show you. I just have a huge pile of clothes that there's like jeans, jackets, like everything. So yeah, but you know what? This is my way of doing it. I think I'm doing okay so far. This stuff on the bed is everything I'm, I know I'm keeping for sure. And then this is the pile <laughs> that I need to like work on and it's a pretty huge pile. So yeah, but I'm done with this part. That's just my gym bag. And I'm done with all of this, everything that's in here I'm keeping as well. And then this is my gym stuff and like underwear, which I need to go through because there's definitely a lot of things I'm going to throw out in here, <laughs> I know that. And then I have, I think like two jackets in here that I need to get rid of, like one of them. And that's pretty much it. So this is my maybe pile and I'm going to put it up there just so I don't like see it because if I'll see it, I'll probably wear it more, but that doesn't mean I want to. That probably just means I haven't done laundry in two weeks. <laughs> so I'm going to put it up there, probably forget about it. And if I don't think of, oh, where's that shirt, then obviously I don't need it. So that's a tip. Put your maybe pile, if you have one, keep it to a minimum. I didn't really succeed in that that much <laughs> but put it somewhere where you won't be able to see the clothes okay so I am now done finally I'm so happy didn't actually take that long um but I thought I would show you the final look so this is how my closet looks like I emptied out that whole thing and put everything that I need in that so there's just like the maybe pile and then suitcases and like my snowboarding equipment, all that stuff that I actually need but don't use on a daily. And then this looks pretty much exactly the same. I think I got rid of like three things from this section of the closet just because I usually hang things that I wear a lot. I got rid of quite a lot of um, fitness stuff and a lot of leggings things like that. And then this is the last part of my closet. The only thing that I guess I was pretty bad at was 
like summery shirts so that like bigger pile <laughs> is all of my summer shirts and the reason why I didn't get rid of that much stuff in that section is because um, I don't really know what I'm gonna wear in the summertime um, so I'm definitely gonna you know have to go through my whole entire closet like a few times to get my closet to a normal size <laughs> but let me show you this huge pile of shit I'm getting rid of <laughs> so this is everything I'm getting rid of it literally looks like the size of one closet so yeah I'm pretty happy with that and then this is the accessories and two bags of shoes <laughs> So we are quite a lot of stuff. Well, I haven't got rid of it yet, but I'm gonna do that in a few days. If you're gonna do this, um, I, I guess I didn't really follow any of the stuff that I said I was gonna do, but if your closet is like unorganized and messy, then definitely try that out. Um, and then I didn't really think the items that I'm getting rid of, I just, I didn't even think of that. And then I did use the, like, does that bring me joy method? Uh, which I can see how that would be really helpful for a lot of people and then uh, For the few items that I didn't know I just put it in a maybe pile which maybe isn't like the right thing to do um, And I don't really feel like any different right now Obviously, I haven't physically gotten rid of it yet. So that's why I think I don't feel any different uh, But I think it's gonna be easier to get dressed as I said I didn't really succeed with the tips, but I think I did a good job I mean, I got rid of a lot of stuff so Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you want to see more of this minimalism series, let me know and let me know what you actually want to see. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!